The following is a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network. This is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. We're committed to being great here. I'm proud to represent Washington State. I know the people that wear their cougs all across this country, they're proud to be a part of Washington State. Why not be here? Why not cheer on this team? Why not Why not see this environment and make it something special? What an opportunity to show who we are as cougs. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Now, live from Zeppos, alongside Cougar head coach Jake Dickert, here's the voice of the Cougs, Chris King. Welcome into Zeppos for the Cougar yeah. Football Hour. Happy Apple Cup week. A great turnout here. Coach, we're inside for the first time this season. It feels good. We got we got everyone at their normal tables. They're kind of right where they should be. It's just great that everyone comes out. It is Apple Cup week. We get to be a part of the 116th Apple Cup. Chris, you excited about it? Oh, I can't wait. I feel like you. I saw the video of you in the locker room after the game saying it's Apple Cup week, and I was going to run through a brick wall after seeing that. Well, it's one of those things I'm not exactly sure how that got out right <laughs> but uh we're passionate about it we just were celebrating a big win and i just wanted our guys to know that celebrate that texas tech win it was a lot of work that went into it but also understand when you wake up it is the week that we talk about for a long time it's apple cup week i'm excited to carry on the tradition and uh, we get to go to lumen field it's going to be a fun one boy we got a lot to get to so we've got the apple cup to preview we've got the texas tech game 37 16 who had fun here at gisa field yeah. on saturday night texas Texas Tech came to town the first time in Pullman and, uh, you know, left away with not so great memories. It was a good night for the Cougs there yeah. at Giza Field, 2-0 and going into the Apple Cup. Like we said, so much to get to. And then Cyrus Webster will join us, and we're excited yes. to talk Phenomenal to him. young man. Absolutely. I impact newcomer for the Cougs. Uh, but let's dive into it first. So let's just jump into kind of the news that came out this morning. The Pac-12 will be adding four new members for the 2026-2027 academic year. Boise State, Colorado State, Fresno State, San Diego State. Uh, what are your thoughts on that news that uh, became official today? I think we officially have a six-pack, right? <laughs> you know, so, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing is, you know, we've talked a lot, Chris, just about, you know, taking the reins and moving into the next, you know, avenue and the next chapter of Washington State Athletics, and this is a step in that direction. It is. It's a positive step. Uh, we've been hanging just kind of in the balance, never knowing, you know, when something's coming, when something's going, but we have to create a runway. There's still a million things to happen yet in college football we know that um, but to pair ourselves up with some teams that we can go forward and to target some other teams that I think is going to make a great football conference um, and a great athletic uh, you know things for our athletic university I just think we're we're ready for that next step and that's what it's about I think there's still a bunch of other things to happen as we keep moving forward but you know I woke up today energized knowing that we get to control what we want to do I thought it was a great job by our administration and we'll continue to move forward well, well said, and with that, we've got a lot of football to get to, so we're going to take our first time out. we got so much to get to when we come back. We'll recap the Texas Tech game, of course, a preview of the Apple Cup. We'll get to our listener and audience questions and all that and more. We'll be back at Zeppos after this time out. You're listening to the Cougar Football Hour from Learfield. At U.S. Bank, when they say they're in it with you, they mean it. Not just for the good stuff, the grand openings and celebrations, although those are pretty great, but for all the hard work it took to get there, the fine-tuning of goals, the managing of cash and workflows, and decision-making. They're in to help you through all of it, because together they're proving day in and day out that there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Visit usbank.com to get started today. Equal housing lender, member FDIC, copyright 2024, U.S. Bank. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. Nothing works up an appetite like cheering for your Cougs on game day. So why not cheer them on at Northern Quest with an impressive roster of restaurants and lounges? You can tackle the menu at Epic and catch every play on the 10 by 30 foot screen. 
or grab a steak at Maslow's, a fine cigar at Legends of Fire, even a burger from Fat Burger. You know, for your inner linebacker. See more at northernquest.com. Go Cougs! This is the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup as the top college athletic programs for the 2024-25 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite team or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2025 to the winning institutions in all college sports divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Aw, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. Never fear. Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes, Sync Sync My my Game. game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow, uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. Welcome back to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light Opponent Preview. Coors Light, choose chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. Celebrate responsibly. Welcome back to Zep Boats here on the Cougar Football Hour. Joined by Jake Dickert, the head coach of the Cougs. We got the Apple Cup coming up Saturday. Lumen Field, 1230 kickoff. Our coverage will begin at 1030. Derek Dice getting things started, getting you all set for kickoff. And and with that, we'll get to our opponent preview. We'll dive into that a little more. But we got a game to recap here. 37-16, the victory over Texas Tech. Palouse after dark. Made for another fun and memorable evening at Giza Field, right? The Palouse always lives up to the bill. I mean, it was just one of those things, the, the crowd, the environment, the play on the field. You know, obviously we got off to a really fast start in that game. You know, the little pop kick. I mean, we had a great play. Uh, Tyson Duran ended up coming up with it, and it just kind of created that momentum that we were going to go out there, Chris, and we were going to attack. We were going to leave it all on the field. Uh, we worked on that game plan for a long time just because we knew the consistency of their coaching staff, of our coaching staff. And our guys were energized and they were ready to play. So we came up firing on all cylinders and got an early lead. And the defense was lights out on Saturday. It was was an incredible performance by the defense. And with that, we can talk about the takeaways. And there were a number of takeaways that I'm sure brought a big smile to your face. But the way the defense responded on fourth down, Texas Tech aggressive. And they were only one for five on fourth down. That was the big thing, Chris. Like we in our program, we talk about like game changing plays. So obviously takeaways on defense, that number. If you can hit 20 takeaways on a season, you know, that is equated over the last five years in FBS football to eight plus wins, right? So obviously to get three of those big ones, set up the momentum of the game is huge. Obviously, Buddha's getting it down to the two yard line. He's like, damn, coach, I wanted to score that touchdown. (laughs) And I bet Javinsky did, Um, you know, and then to obviously add four fourth down stops to that is, is game changing, just momentum breakers. They They play that way. They're aggressive. I mean, the 4th and 11 from the 50-yard line early in the third quarter to go out there and really get that ball back. And even after, you know, we kind of botched the onside kick there to go out there and get a big stop. Those are momentum, you know, stops for your program. And I thought the defense responded exactly how I thought they would. They played with their hair on fire, and it was just awesome to see those kids go out there and play. So many great moments from that game. I think Buddha's forcing that fumble, recovering it. 22-yard return, as you said, so close to the end zone he could taste it but that that kind of stands out for me uh it was it was huge because if you really watch the core of the play it was set up as a screen and they had three to four blockers and buddha just shakes them low shoulders strikes it and it was one of those things chris it's just so fun when you see a kid take the technique and the drill that you work in practice he ripped that thing out he recovered it himself it's like one of those like plus 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 plays in the great sheet and it was it was awesome to see him make a big play like that Texas Tech's quarterback, Baron Morton, he had a lot of pressure in his face. Maybe it didn't end up on the stat yeah. sheet with the number of sacks, but it seemed like his life was uncomfortable and the team mission accomplished on that front. We hit him all day. I mean, I think that's the easiest way to say that is that we did have one sack that was Ram Stevenson at the end of the game, but 
he never got comfortable. He was never in a rhythm. You know, I was really worried going into that football game where they put on tape really over the course of the last eight games since he was the starter was just tough to get him off a rhythm. And it was it was awesome from David Gusta to Cyrus Webster to Nusi Milani. Uh, all these guys had just had played a role. And we just have a luxury of rotating about 10 guys on our defensive front. I thought we stayed fresh because we did play 97 snaps but they never got in that offensive rhythm. Obviously, the tailback being out was a, was a bonus for the Cougs, but we stopped the run, made them one-dimensional, and then the takeaways just kept coming. Well, John Matier has two starts. So his first start against Portland State, he sets the team record for most touchdowns accounted for by a quarterback in his first start. He had six, five through the air, and one on the ground. So how does he follow that up? What's his encore against Texas Tech? He sets the school record for most rushing yards by a quarterback with 197. How much fun has it been to kind of further unleash that weapon that his legs can be? Yeah, just an awesome performance. And I would have to go, you know, ask around to these tables just to see the last time they saw a quarterback run like this. I mean, just uh, incredible. And here's the best part about it, Chris good teams can win in many different ways. You know, and I think that was what we were missing last year at times when people were going to sit back, they're going to drop eight, they were going to go into the, the leech kryptonite, right? They drop eight. Uh, we can run the ball, and not just with our tailback. We can add plus one runs. We can get John loose. He can scramble around, and I just think that is his strength. If I had a dollar for people to ask me this week, Coach, you got to teach John to slide. And I was like, I don't think John's a slide guy. <laughs> I just don't think he is. Like, he's, he's strong. He squats the house. He's physical. He's aggressive. And I said this before. John gets mad at me in the scrimmages when I call him down. And now I actually believe him. No one can tackle him, right? So it's fun to watch him compete. Uh, we will be artful in how we use him, but that's John's nature. And the best part about John and his performance, because, you know, you can walk in the building the next day and feel pretty good about yourself. He's like, Coach, I got to play better. I got to do better. I got to make this throw. I got to make that read. I, you know, he, he learned from an early mistake. And I think that was the best part for me as the head coach to see John make a bad interception. It's going to happen. And just see him rebound and command that and just keep competing. And we ground it out on offense. I thought that was great to see because we're going to be dynamic. We will have those opportunities. But to play in that type of arena, that slugfest, that physical, let's give some love to the big boys up front because they did a heck of a job. Very well-deserved offensive line. And you look at back-to-back -back games, what, what the rushing attack has been able to do. And, John, obviously a big part of that against Texas Tech. But as you said, those guys deserve a lot of credit on the offensive line. Yeah, I mean, and someone asked me that question this week, and I said, let's, let's see where they're at and compare them to last year after this week. But we took a great step in Portland State. We kept John upright in the Texas Tech game. And now we'll have a big challenge that we'll get into in the next segment. But those guys, and we're still without Falili Fawamui, who is – undoubtedly one of the best right tackles in all the country so to see those guys playing and competing and how about way sean parker huh i mean way sean gives us that edge i just he's just been phenomenal so far as a young freshman uh another big play for the big touchdown kind of in that moment we needed that play javinsky slimbaker just keeps you know whether he gets three carries or 15 carries he gives us everything he has but so it's just good to see our offense doing a lot of things but We'll need to get that pass game in rhythm early this week to kind of get flowing uh, and get off to a little bit better start. I know this is kind of, you know, closing the chapter on the Texas Tech game. Just any final thoughts, anything you haven't mentioned, anyone to highlight that uh, we haven't touched on yet? Well, I think it was just one of those things, like it was a great team win, you know, and I think the more you really watch the, the team play, I mean, Tyson Durant was probably the one guy that we haven't highlighted that was just incredible. You know, and what I love to see, Chris, is, you know, he didn't play the way he's capable of playing against Portland State. We challenged him. We believed in him. We, you know, he went out there and just commanded the defense. That defensive secondary was is so young um, but so talented and their communication and just the way they went out there and made those plays with confidence, I think it's a real – boost for that that group to go out there and know that they can play with the best in the country and you know ethan o'connor had another phenomenal game stephen hall has been a rock jackson latamua kapena gushikin played probably as good as i've seen him uh in my two years here so we're building momentum in that young secondary and i think that's a great place to be because i think our front can be very disruptive and that's a texas tech offense with weapons yeah. and the defense yep. as you said as a whole did such an excellent job so we'll take a break here coming up and we'll dive into our opponent preview 
you. Less than 48 hours away. The Almost Apple there. Cup on tap. Right now, a quick reminder. Cougar Nation, each time you bring your Toyota vehicle to be serviced at a local and participating Toyota dealership, you can receive a premium Washington State giveaway item as a member of the Toyota Rewards Program. Stay tuned for more information on how to become a Rewards Program member. More with Jake Dickert after this. We're live at Zeppos. This is the Cougar Football Hour from Learfield. Dear Road Rivals, let's talk about extra. Toyota offers tons of extra with Toyota Care. Our no-cost maintenance plan good for two years or 25,000 miles. No-cost oil changes, no-cost tire rotations, no-cost fluid level adjustments, and more. That's a whole lot of extra at no cost from Toyota. Nissan and Ford charge extra for maintenance. And that's the kind of extra nobody needs. Try harder. Toyota. Based on manufacturer's data as of 319-2024, covers normal factory scheduled service for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever occurs first. See participating dealer for coverage details. You may be eager to break ground on a new outdoor project, but never just start digging. Buried electric and natural gas lines can be anywhere. It's the law to call 811 at least two business days before you dig. Spray paint white lines showing your dig zone, and a crew will mark the utility lines. Mark accuracy zone is within two feet of the mark, so always hand dig to expose the line first. Call 811 before you dig. The service is free for residential customers. Avista. We just want you to be safe. Are you interested in your company reaching Coug fans in and out of game day? As the multimedia rights holder for Washington State Athletics, Washington State Sports Properties helps companies and organizations connect themselves to Cougar Athletics in unique and exciting ways. From LED signs to pregame parties to the radio ad you're hearing right now, Washington State Sports Properties is helping companies, both large and small, get in front of Coug fans on a daily basis. Reach out to Washington State Sports Properties to learn more about what sponsoring the Cougs can look like for you. This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Picked off, intercepted, touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. And you're listening to Cougar football. Go Cougs. Whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. Hello, I'm Mike McVeigh from McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows, and also an alumni from WSU, the best college in the state. Go Cougs! And for over 65 years, I believe our competitive edge has been selling the very best roofing, siding, and windows made at a great price with the best team of professionals installing it. And during our anniversary sale, we're offering 10% off your next project up to $3,000. So give us a call today at McVeigh Brothers. We're always working for you. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Here's the voice of the Cougs, Chris King. Welcome back into Zeppo's great crowd here. We are talking about the Apple Cup. Joined once again by the head coach of the Washington State Cougars, Jake Dickert, on the Cougar Football Hour. Time now to dive into the opponent. Everyone knows the opponent. We know who the opponent is we Saturday. We know who the opponent is. You say Apple Cup. We don't. On all of our stuff we give out for the week, we never put their logo on it. It's just the Apple Cup, and we know we know who we're talking about. Very fair. So, starting off with the team that we're referring to here, <laughs> a lot of turnover for them from last year. Yeah. With all of the, the changes for them, how different is this team that, that the Cougs are going up against this year compared to the squad that uh, Washington State uh, went right down to the wire with last November? Well, I mean, you're obviously comparing them to the national finalists, like, with, which is hard, you know, kind of comparison for everybody. But I, I do give Coach Fish a lot of credit in a short amount of time. I think they stockpiled a lot of talent with a lot of resources to really build up their football team. And, you know, it really starts off offensively. You know, Coach Fish, he calls the plays, he designs it. He does still the OC in that capacity, very NFL style that way, uh, very crafty in what they do. The unique part about, you know, 
going against a new coaching staff in a rivalry game, this is the fourth time we've played this coaching staff. So you take a lot of things that they did at Arizona. Obviously, they know how we defend them. You know, they know how to attack us. So, I mean, you take that piece of it and now apply it to a new jersey and a new game. So that, that makes it a little bit unique. But uh, obviously, they're big and physical up front. Their quarterback, uh, Rodgers, is a you know 3,000-yard passer in the SEC. So you know there's not a lot of things that he hasn't seen. The, the biggest difference is he's gone from Mike Leach's air-rated Mississippi State to an under-center kind of different style of offense. So I think through the first couple games, he's still getting his feet wet in how they want him to play in that style. But he's completed 80% of his passes, and their offense will go through Jonah Coleman. You know, number one is a big, physical, bruising tailback. And we got to find ways to corral him and control him. You talk about him being a big bruising tailback, and the, and the Cougs have dealt with him before. Yeah. What makes him so difficult? You, you touch on those attributes, but how hard is he just to bring down? Well, last year we were like a BB off a tank. Like it just <laughs> it wasn't great, and we have to execute our tackling plan better. And it's a few things: is making sure your leverage is on point. You know, last year he broke our leverage and was able to make the next guy miss. You know, too many times, and then it's just swarm tackling. You know, sometimes it is just grabbing on to a, you know, a shoelace, a leg, you know, whatever you can get a hold of, hang on until your boys get there and let's bring them down. So it will be instances where it won't just be one guy making the tackle, but you got to corral him. You got to get him before he gets started because once he gets a downhill head of steam, he's tough to deal with. And for them at wide receivers, tight ends, either guys who are stepping up and taking on bigger roles or newcomers that they brought in through the transfer portal? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the, the wide receivers are, are young guys that have been coming up to their program that we know have had some game experience and are very good. One's a transfer. Uh, the slot kid, number five, is very dynamic. Uh, Coach Fish has always had a really good kid in the slot. It was Jacob Cowing last year at Arizona. So, uh, they use that position in a lot of different ways and do a good job of getting the ball in space. So uh, they do, you know, they'll take their shots when necessary. Uh, the quarterback's seen it all, like I said, and you know we got to neutralize all this with our communication because a lot of different sets. They actually put 11 guys together and do this thing called a huddle, Chris. I, I don't know what, if you know what that that's is. A, right? That's kind of an antiquated so concept, huddle, right? right? They yeah. all get on the same page, and then they come to the line of scrimmage. I don't want that to throw you off when you're doing the game. Uh, I'll have to ask Alex Brink about it. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Does Brink know? Did they huddle back with Brink? I, Brink probably has no idea either. He's like, they're, they're doing some weird offensive formation. <laughs> oh, no, that's just the huddle. It's okay, Brink. Um, so they will, they'll do a lot of varying things out of there that, that makes it, you know, just take the air out of the football, play pro style possession game but uh, you know so far they've passed the test and had two dominating wins so they played Weber State they played Eastern Michigan and for them defensively they've not allowed a touchdown yeah. through their two games last time they did that was in 1991 so what what's allowed them their defense to keep Weber State and to keep Eastern Michigan out of the end zone well I think it's one of those things when you look at it probably what you know myself and most people underestimated it was the type of front seven players that they recruited and had come back uh, their star is number five. He's actually a Division II player from the University of Sioux Falls. That's my old stomping grounds there. That was the Northern Sun Conference when I was at Mankato uh, and when I was at Augustana. That was our big rival back in the day. So uh, he's a really tough player. Number 11 and 42, their linebackers are very physical. But this Belichick scheme, I know you've heard a lot about it. Um, it's all about one-on-ones. They're going to create angles for their defensive linemen. It's very attacking. It's a lot of man and what we call simulated pressures where they'll bring some guys off the edge, drop guys, and play cover three and cover two behind it. So um, very disguising and very tough on quarterbacks. So we've done a lot of research. We've watched how New England has played, uh, you know, Lamar Jackson and Baltimore Ravens. They're just kind of getting a feel for how might they, you know, spy John or get a guy on John. So it's going to be a unique test. And this will be the test to see where our offensive line is at. We put so much into those guys. You, know, you got to meet and see our leader, Dev Kalani, uh, last week and just kind of what he's made out of. So our guys are up and excited for this challenge. And I would think, tell me if I'm wrong, through two games, there's a lot for an opposing defense to digest as far so. as the skill set of John Mateer and the offense as a whole. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, Chris, we've talked about all week too, is we're, we're battle-tested. You know, I... I know exactly how John's going to respond through adversity because he's been through it. I know exactly how KT is going to respond when he's tired because we've been through it. And I think that should give our guys a lot of confidence and conviction to walk in any situation, whether we're up or down, stay the course, and just keep playing hard. So that, that's where I like where our football team's at. We came off a physical 
uh, game last week. You know, we had to dial back practice down just a touch. Uh, but we need a peak at noon on Saturday because it's going to be an awesome environment there at Lumen Field. Well, we'll talk about the rivalry aspect a little bit more on the team. And I had a chance to talk with Quinn Roth today. We had yeah. Kyle Thornton on our first week. And I know those guys have played as many snaps as, as anyone in an Apple Cup. Who are the guys on the team that you turn to to, to express what exactly the Apple Cup means to maybe some of the newcomers? Well, I think I'd take myself back to that moment in 2021 when we won in their stadium. I mean, what a, what a moment for the Cougs, what that meant for us at that time, what our program was going to. You know, I said it this week, not because of who we beat, but because of what it meant to Washington State football at the time. You know, what it meant to me, Candace, and our family to obviously get named the head coach the next day. It's a football memory that, like, I'll never forget. So... I've also been on the other side when you lose that trophy, right? And you don't understand a rivalry, Chris, until you're on both sides of it, right? The congratulations and the celebrations and all the text and emails you get when you win and just kind of you feel like you let everyone down when you don't. So it's a real rivalry. You know, we have a bunch of players that have been here through that. We'll have a couple guys speak Friday night on what that means to them. But uh, when you hoist that, that cup and you bring it back to Pullman, you realize just how important this game is to our university, our faculty, our alumni, former players. I mean, everyone's going to be watching this game. I would think the Washington natives on the team kind of know about it from the get-go. Yeah. But the yeah. rest of the guys, they learn pretty quick, right? Oh, I mean, they just take themselves back to, to high school. Everyone has that local rivalry that, you know, you talk about Gig Harbor and, like, Hudson Cedarland, the fishbowl game. Like, these guys talk about it. They know those rivalries. And, you know, but what happens in these games is everyone gets all worked up. You still got to make sure who can execute. It won't be who talks the most smack. It'll be who can execute, who can play, and who can, who can make the big plays when it matters. Well, well said there. We'll take a break. We'll let you loose. Enjoy some of the great food right. here at Zeppo's. We'll bring you back a little bit later on. Cyrus Webster going to be joining oh. us next. Excited for that. Again, that is Jake Dickert joining us here at Zeppo's on the Cougar Football Hour. More to come after this break. You are listening to the Cougar Football Hour from Learfield. Want to earn some extra money this winter? Spokane International Airport is hiring multiple seasonal snow removal equipment operators. These are on-call positions for the upcoming winter season from November 2024 to March 2025. You can earn up to $36 an hour. Some positions require a CDL, and previous experience in operating snow removal equipment is highly preferred. Join our team today. Learn more and apply by visiting SpokaneAirports.net. Coors Light presents To Chill or Not To Chill. When your friend skips your favorite song on the playlist. End the friendship. Or choose chill because that song lives rent-free in your head anyway. And you planned ahead by bringing Coors Light to the party. And the sound of that ice-cold can cracking open was music to your ears already. Coors Light. Choose chill. Celebrate responsibly. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. With the WSU debit card from Gisa, it's hard to tell who's supporting who. When Coug fans use their WSU card, they show off their Coug pride and donations are made back to Cougar Athletics. But the card supports the Coug fan with big savings by helping them grow their money with Smart Plus checking. So, does the card support the Coug fan or does the Coug fan support the card? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that the WSU card supports Cougar Athletics and your wallet at the same time. Get your WSU card at Gisa.com. Check it account transaction requirements, terms and conditions apply. Insured by NCUA. This is the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. This Washington State University sports broadcast is brought to you in part by Pullman Regional Hospital, the official hospital of Washington State Athletics. The combined expertise of our university and our award-winning hospital are being deployed to provide greater access to resources, education, employment opportunities, and innovations to improve health care and health outcomes for all of us. Learn more at PullmanRegional.org. Pullman Regional Hospital and Washington State, partners in excellence. Hey Cougar fans, the 2024 football season is here and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the touchdown celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Washington State football games or to any other live event in your area, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official ticket marketplace of the Washington State Cougars. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. 
This is the Cougar Football Hour. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Here's the voice of the Cougs, Chris King. Welcome back into Zeppos here on the Cougar Football Hour. It is Apple Cup week. We are oh, yeah. less than 48 hours away. And before we get to our player guests here tonight, a quick reminder, tonight's show is sponsored in part by Northern Quest. Earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, and luxury hotel rooms than anyone else in the region. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. Cyrus Webster, senior edge rusher, first-year Coug, joining oh, yeah. us here. Welcome to Zeppos. Welcome to the Cougar Football Hour. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And I'd say welcome to the Palouse, but you've been here for a little bit now. How is oh, yeah. life in your first year as part of the program? Beautiful, beautiful. You know, I've only been here since January, but I feel like I've been a Cougar my whole life. And uh, the people are amazing. Obviously, like everybody here, you guys are amazing. This uh, community is amazing, and uh, it's just been a blessing since I've got here in January, so I love it here. Well, you're a natural at this. You're already talking to the crowd. Question number oh, yeah. one, you're <laughs> right in there with the crowd. Well, for you, you come here after a very successful career at Utah Tech. They're the last three years. They're all-time leader in career sacks. Can you tight? Kind of take us through. So you enter the transfer portal. You end up talking to teams. You hear from WSU. And, and how did it all come together that, hey, this this is my new home at WSU? So I got in, got in the portal. Portal's crazy. I mean, I wouldn't advise anyone to get into it if you don't have to. But uh, get into it. It's a little bit crazy. I'm getting contacted by a lot of people. But uh, Coach Miley, defensive line coach here, uh, Edges coach, he reaches out to me. And I already knew who he was. And uh, so um, when he comes and talks to me, I'm like, dang, he cares about my character. He cares about who I am. He doesn't care about, hey, like, let's let's get you a nice, nice this, nice that, nice that. Like, he cared about who I was. He cared about, obviously, I'm married. So he cared about all the things that didn't matter about football. Like, obviously, football mattered. And, yes, I knew that I wanted to go somewhere, that I had the opportunity to play and do the things I wanted to do. But at the same time, it was like I wanted to go somewhere that they knew me and, and they knew, like, who I was as a person. So Coach Miley really – showed that he cared about me and my wife and I was like that's the type of person that I would want to get coached by we came here to Pullman on a visit and uh ever since we came here on the visit and like we did the whole visit there we had no doubts me and my wife we were like this is the place we want to be this is the place that I think I can spend my senior year here and, it, and like I said since I got here and since I've been here it's been a blessing ever since so well the team and thanks to you and all your teammates off to a 2-0 and start to oh, the yeah. season and I thought about you on Saturday so there's this game against Texas Tech yeah. loud crowd at Giza Field everyone there behind the Cougs what was that like for you and this is no knock on Utah Tech but yeah. probably when you play in front of big crowds you're oh, yeah. you're the opposing team and to have that kind of you know just force uh, of that crowd and that energy behind you for a home game yeah, it's just another attest to the fans and the crowd. Like, it's something different here, you know. It's something different when we play there. And just the, the noise, the – I was telling my wife after the game, I was like, dude, it was crazy when you're hearing the go, Cougs, go. I was like, that, that's awesome. And people told me that because – after uh, PSU, they were like, just wait till we get to Texas Tech. It's, it's totally different. And I was like, okay, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and then uh, going, obviously, I was like, this is, this is amazing. Like, this, this is what kids dream about. This is what you want. When you're young, you're like, this is what you want to play in. And just being involved in it, being in the game, like, you, you, it's something you dream about. You know, you know what I mean? So uh, I definitely had to calm myself down a little bit after, uh, after a drive or so. I was a little bit more calm. But going into it, <sighs> You know, you, 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 you get a lot going within yourself. So, Well, you're a part of this group. But let's just say the defensive line, but specifically yeah. the edge rushers. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot oh, yeah. of you guys who have the capability to get in there and wreak havoc and get yeah. to the quarterback. What's it like being a part of that group, which the defensive line as a whole is one of the strengths of this team? Yeah, so like you said, we have depth. Like every single person in that room works tremendously hard, whether that's practice, whether that's we're lifting, we're running. Like everyone works tremendously hard, and it's just like, it's our standard. Like, that's our standard within the edge, the edge room, our defense. Our, everyone has that standard. And 
literally every single day we got there and we're sprinting the ball, we're doing the extra things, we're staying, we're staying after, doing extra stuff. And that's just, like I said, that's just the standard. That's, that's what we do as an edge group. And there's no one person is like, hey, this is the guy. Like, you, you other guys, don't, don't worry about them. Like, no, like, we're, we're all together. Like, we empower each other. We push each other. We, we, if I'm getting better, someone else is learning from what, what I'm doing, you know what I mean? And if they're getting better, I'm learning from what they're doing. So it's just always getting better and improving on the things that we can improve on. And at the end of the day, it's just like focusing on what we can improve on, focus on the controllables. And that's, that's our biggest thing is like, yeah, we're going to make mistakes. Yeah, we're not, no one's going to play a perfect game. No one's going to have a perfect practice. But what can we improve on every single day to grow as a group? And if we're growing, then the D tackles are growing. The people behind us are growing. If we're rushing and we're getting pressure the dbs don't have to cover as long so like it's just a whole working unit and it's, it's just fun to be a part of so well you and your teammates are going to be a part of this rivalry the 116th edition of the apple cup that is coming up saturday we'll take a break we'll get your thoughts on the apple cup yes, sir. and more we'll be back with cyrus webster here at zeppos more to come you're listening to the cougar football hour from learfield at U.S. Bank, when they say they're in it with you, they mean it. Not just for the good stuff, the grand openings and celebrations, although those are pretty great, but for all the hard work it took to get there, the fine-tuning of goals, the managing of cash and workflows, and decision-making. They're in to help you through all of it, because together they're proving day in and day out that there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Visit usbank.com to get started today. Equal housing lender, member FDIC, copyright 2024, U.S. Bank. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. No one looks forward to cheering on their favorite team quite like a Cougs fan. And no one does game day quite like Northern Quest, with over a dozen restaurants and lounges in play, including Epic Sports Bar. Catch every game on Epic's 10 foot by 30 foot HD TV and tackle an epic lineup of wings, burgers, beers, and more like your quarterback depended on it. Northern Quest, the only way to do game day. Go Cougs! You're listening to Cougar Football on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Get game day ready at Rosars. Rosars is a proud sponsor of WSU Athletics and your headquarters for keeping snacks stocked up for game time. You'll find the largest craft beer selection, local and imported wines, and all the makings for your favorite cocktails. And while you're there, stock up on your favorite deli snacks, pizza, rotisserie chickens, and ribs. Don't just watch the game. Experience it with your favorite game time foods. Get game day ready at Rosar's. Get your home turf ready to play with the game-changing performance of steel. Enjoy big savings this fall on steel handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Steel is a proud supporter of your Washington State Cougars. Real Steel. Find yours. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Here's the voice of the Cougs, Chris King. Welcome back into Zeppos for the Cougar Football Hour Apple Cup Edition. Cyrus Webster, our guest, senior edge rusher, back here with you. And something you touched on before, we're going to get into the Apple Cup here in a minute, but you talked about how you are a married man. Uh, married. Tell us, how is how is married life balancing uh, balancing being married and everything that comes with football as well? It's beautiful. I mean, shout out to my wife. She's here, so shout out to her. But... um. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome. Being uh, being young and married is definitely the dream. I mean, if you find the right one, you should definitely do it because you always have someone that is uh, 
is there for you, like 24-7. I mean, you can always rely on someone to have your back. And that's, uh, that's, that's someone who uh, supports me a lot and does a lot for me. And so I don't take that for granted. And uh, just bouncing everything is easy for me because I have her, you know. So obviously, like, I'm in a class right now that talks about this. So, like, the bouncing work and family is a huge thing. So like, you, you obviously have to know... When, when you step through that door, you can't bring in work to, to the household. And uh, that's, that's something I've learned is like when you come home, it's like spend time, spend time with your wife, spend time, you know, doing the things you guys enjoy doing. And obviously when you're going to work, when you're doing the things you need to do, you're dialed into that, you're focused into that. So it's the biggest thing is she's my support system and she does things that I, even I told you, like when we came on our visit, she came with me and she was a, she was a big reason why we are here. And it's just, um, like I said, being young and married is definitely a dream. Like, you, you don't want to have all the distraction, all those things. You, you, you want to be locked in on one person. I'm definitely locked in. So I love it. I love it. That is fantastic. Well, you yes. mentioned the class you're taking. Tell us about what keeps you busy in the classroom yeah. right now, what, what you're maybe thinking about doing when it comes to uh, life after your Cougar football career. Oh, um, class is very, very busy. You know what I mean? So I'm taking a – they changed my major. Well, they didn't change it, but I had to choose a different major to social studies. And it's, uh, it's definitely changing my uh, – my, my outlook on school because I was a business major and now I'm a social studies major. So I'm learning a lot about some interesting topics in the world. So um, that's definitely keeping me busy. I'd say, I, I wouldn't say it was like very interesting to me initially when I got into college, but now I'm like, I'm pretty interested in this stuff. But um, just, just overall, I think like what keeps, I stay pretty busy, you know what I mean? Like, I, there's not a lot of stuff. I don't go home and I'm like, hey, I'm going to hop on the video game, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't have time to do those things. But overall, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm a very busy person, I would say. I can only imagine. you got a lot, lot going on between, yes. uh, yeah, just being married and everything that comes with being a football player at this yes. level. What, any thoughts when, when whatever football's done, and hopefully that's a long ways oh, yeah. down the road, but any thoughts on what you might do? Yeah, I'm, I mean – Obviously, NFL NFL is the main focus. I mean, that's that's been been the focus since I got into college. That's it's a dream. That's what I want to do, and I'm gonna continue to pursue that. And um, that I, that's that's my main focus right now. I've been, that people always say like, have a backup plan, have a backup plan. And as of right now, my backup plan is the NFL. But uh, <laughs> the it, main it, plan, the backup yes, plan. Yes. I like it. Yes, but. Um, I, I I always have things things that I work on. I I love being an entrepreneur. I I love the business. Like I said, I love business. I love um, wanting to be someone who uh, is kind of just not working underneath someone who's being, you know, I, I don't want to work a desk job. I, I want to be someone who is pursuing to have my own business, have my own products, have, have those type of things. And I'm super interested in business, like every, every aspect of business, like advertising, um, just all, all this stuff. I, I'm super interested in it. And if uh, football doesn't work out, I'll definitely have a business or a product out there somewhere. I like it. Well, last question for you. It's Apple Cup week. Oh, yeah. This is your first Apple, Apple Cup. Cup as a Coug, and it's just with your eligibility, your only Apple Cup. Sir. How has it been learning about this rivalry and having the buildup so far this week? Yeah, it's huge rival. I've, I've been a part of rivals, but this is huge. It's, it's, it's to me, it's the biggest rival I, I've ever been a part of. This game is going to be huge, and for good luck for me, I've been eating apples every single day this week, so... <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, every single day. I mean, t today they, they had me doing um, bobbing for apples, actually. That, there should be a video coming out somewhere, but I had to do that, too. So that, I, it's just, you know, encouraging the look, you know. So, um, But uh, it, it, it's huge. It's super emotional. There, there, there's a lot of emotions in it. Um, there's a lot of ties in this game as well, and it's, it's something that we want to have. We, we want to have that trophy. It's, it's huge to our team. But at the end of the day, it's us versus us. So I, I, we're going to go out there. We're, we're, we're going to do what we need to do. We're going to be super physical. We're going we're gonna to play to our, our standard, and the outcome will be just a product of our, our work and, and what we've put in. And I'm su super excited. Like I said, it's, it's my only one, so I'm going to go out there and play my hair on fire. And, you know, that, like I said, the outcome is going to be the outcome. So I lied. One more question. Have you had okay. your apple for today, or is that still to come? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had it this morning. I was actually walking from my lab class 
back to the facility eating an apple, and uh, I was made sure I made sure everyone saw that I was eating an apple, and so you know, it, it is Apple Cup week, so. Now that is commitment. On that note, uh, Cyrus will let you loose. Thanks so much for taking the time yes. here today. Great to chat with you, and can't wait to see you and your teammates in action there, Seattle, in the Apple Cup on sure. Saturday. Thank you, Cyrus Webster, our guest here on the Cougar Football Hour, senior edge rusher for Washington State. More to come with head coach Jake Dickert. He'll rejoin us right after this break. We're live from Zeppos. You're listening to the Cougar Football Hour from Learfield. Coors Light presents To Chill or Not To Chill. When your friend skips your favorite song on the playlist. End the friendship. Or choose chill because that song lives rent-free in your head anyway. And you are planned ahead by bringing Coors Light to the party. And the sound of that ice-cold can cracking open was music to your ears already. Coors Light. Choose chill. Celebrate responsibly. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Cook fans, you love rooting for the Crimson and Gray, and now McDonald's has even more for you to cheer about. Because this season, you can score big with the 20-piece McNuggets bundle when you order on the McD app. Get 20 golden, juicy McNuggets, plus two orders of the medium fries you know and love, all for just $11.99. McDonald's and Cougars football, now that's what I call a W. Must opt into rewards at participating McDonald's valid through 2024-25 football season. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. This is Drew Bledsoe, and you're listening to Cougar Football. Bledsoe calls his play, has the ball, throws a home run ball from the end zone to Bobo! Oh! Washington State! On the Washington State Sports Network. At U.S. Bank, when they say they're in it with you, they mean it. Not just for the good stuff, the grand openings and celebrations, although those are pretty great, but for all the hard work it took to get there, the fine-tuning of goals, the managing of cash and workflows, and decision-making. They're in to help you through all of it, because together they're proving day in and day out that there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Visit usbank.com to get started today. Equal housing lender, member FDIC, copyright 2024, U.S. Bank. Want to earn some extra money this winter? Spokane International Airport is hiring multiple seasonal snow removal equipment operators. These are on-call positions for the upcoming winter season from November 2024 to March 2025. You can earn up to $36 an hour. Some positions require a CDL, and previous experience in operating snow removal equipment is highly preferred. Join our team today. Learn more and apply by visiting SpokaneAirports.net. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. Here's the voice of the Cougs, Chris King. The Junior Cougs Kids Club is presented by Toyota. It is the official kids club of the Washington State Cougars, and it is the best way for the youngest members of Cougar Nation to show off their Cougar pride. Find out more information about your Junior Cougs membership perks at wsucougars.com slash jrcougs. Back here at Zeppos on the Cougar Football Hour, rejoined again by the head coach yeah. of the Cougs, Jake Dicker. Time for our listener and audience questions. Uh, we got some to throw your way here. I know it's great to see Amy Jackson reaching out on Twitter saying yes. go Cougs, best of luck this week bring that cup back home saying how uh, Mama Football and the entire Jackson family misses Pullman so much and they'll be cheering loud and proud from SoCal. Wow, just an amazing family. Let's give Brennan Jackson a round of applause is all that, that he's done for our football program and you know the Cyrus Webster if I could comp him with somebody like it's, it's Brennan Jackson like he just has that type of energy to play, that type of effort, that type of just his hair's on fire 24-7, and it's really fun to see. So, um, you know, that, that's kind of Brennan's way, and, and obviously Cyrus has carried that on. So it's been great to have those edge players that can play so well, and he's doing great things for the Rams. Our guy Matt Kylo asking, did you feel like you're facing a river road gambler the way that Texas Tech kept going for it on fourth down? They were aggressive. That's kind of their M.O. a little bit, but they, they lived up to that Saturday. Well, I'll say this. I'm going to introduce you to a little thing called analytics. And it's one of these things I've had a lot of questions about analytics and go for it and how do you do it, coach, and make those decisions. There's a book that you go into the game with about this thick. And, you know, college coaches, I, 
I still like to do it a little bit on that's the information, this is my instinct, and this is how we do it. You will see us, Chris, as we did in our game, go for it fourth and one on our own 30. And John Matier <laughs> snuck the ball and then got hit pretty hard in the head there. But uh, it's just one of those things where – that's the, what the analytics book says, but based on possessions and, you know, this is what you should do over kicking field goals versus punting. And when it works out, just like anything else, it, it's, it looks really good. Uh, when you go one for five in those four down opportunities and we're getting a lot of short fields and we keep leaning on you, it's a big thing because – one of the points in our plan to win, we call it tilting the field, right? And it's how do we, through offense, defense, special teams, you know, take away and making sure our starting field position is better than theirs. For this football game coming out of Texas Tech, our average starting field position was at the plus 44. Theirs was at the plus 24. So every time we exchanged the ball, we had 20 yards more than they did. And, you know, you call it riverboat gambling, and sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose, and the Cougs won this one on Saturday. So, Annalise, you're saying there's a, there's a book that oh. you have. Who, who is the – is that like the nuclear football? Do you have – like yes. who, who is in control book, of that? We have a book guy. We have a book guy. Uh, yeah. A lone job? Is that like the get-back guy? Is that, where's that on the uh, – No, the, I mean, he's also our – assistant offensive line coach Justin Kramer but we go over so many different analytics and you know you get some situations during the week of hey this is how other coaches handled it this is what analytics say so every Wednesday night I, I actually you know read it when I'm when I'm in bed I go through the analytics listing of like hey this is how Colorado handled this situation this is you know how they handle these timeouts and it's kind of just keeping sharp as a head coach and putting yourself in those moments of what you would do so I think they're very useful uh you know but i i choose to still get the information and then make the gut instinct call on that time and and like you said sometimes they work and sometimes they don't no that, that makes sense i got a question from lauren and normally here about boise state we'll save that one for a, a couple weeks from yeah, now we got, uh, uh, we got that that'll be a good one uh, down the road and speaking of that a reminder to everyone so next week our show will be wednesday night wednesday we got a night. friday night game at gisa field eight days from now san jose state the opponent so next week just a little programming note right. uh, i'll be wednesday night instead of thursday night here for the cougar football hour on that note we'll take our final time out we'll get those last thoughts from coach dicker at the apple cup coming up on saturday more from zeppos after this you're listening to the cougar football hour from near field bro you go hard for the wsc cougs what do you mean you're literally wearing a coog jersey that you bought from the coog store with your coog debit card and you don't stop talking about how every time you use your card gisa donates to the cougar athletic fund i guess i do go pretty hard for my coogs if you go hard for your Cougs, get your WSU card today at Gisa.com. Go Cougs! Coors Light presents To Chill or Not To Chill. When your friend skips your favorite song on the playlist. End the friendship. Or choose chill because that song lives rent-free in your head anyway. And you're planned ahead by bringing Coors Light to the party. And the sound of that ice-cold can cracking open was music to your ears already. Coors Light. Choose chill. Celebrate responsibly. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. This Washington State University sports broadcast is brought to you in part by Pullman Regional Hospital, the official hospital of Washington State Athletics. The combined expertise of our university and our award-winning hospital are being deployed to provide greater access to resources, education, employment opportunities, and innovations to improve health care and health outcomes for all of us. Learn more at PullmanRegional.org. Pullman Regional Hospital and Washington State, partners in excellence. Nothing works up an appetite like cheering for your Cougs on game day. So why not cheer them on at Northern Quest with an impressive roster of restaurants and lounges? You can tackle the menu at Epic and catch every play on the 10 by 30 foot screen. Or grab a steak at Maslow's, a fine cigar at Legends of Fire, even a burger from Fat Burger. You know, for your inner linebacker. See more at northernquest.com. Go Cougs! This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Big golf intercepted. Touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. And you're listening to Cougar Football. Go Cougs. Aw, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. 
Never fear, Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes, Sync My Game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow, uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup as the top college athletic programs for the 2024-25 college athletics season? You can follow the standings of your favorite team or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2025 to the winning institutions in all college sports divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Zeppos here on the Cougar Football Hour. It is Apple Cup week. It is Apple Cup Eve Eve. We're less than 48 hours away. We're back here with Jake Dickert. Coach, as we're inching closer, you've got the, the travel tomorrow. You've got all those meetings to get you geared up for the 1230 kickoff at Lumen Field. Uh, what are those big points that you're going to be emphasizing with the team about uh, the game itself and, as we've touched on, the rivalry aspect of this? I think it's one of those deals where you go into a game like this where it's going to be Cow, you know, punch, counter punch, and you just got to keep coaching through the kickoff. You know, I'm not a big haze in the barn ever guy, Chris. I'm just not. That, that expression is just not me. You got to keep coaching all the way through zeros, and it's going to be our ability to adjust. And in the moment, I just want our guys to take a breath. Right? They understand what it is. They understand what the environment's going to be like. There's going to be the sights, the sounds, the spectacles. The Apple Cup's going to be sitting over in the corner. We're going to have one eye on that puppy. But at the end of the day, it's about what we do on that field. And no matter what we do, no matter where we play, it'll be about that green grass. So if you earned your way to the right that we trust you to put you on that field, go do your job. And I think our guys have responded to that message every step of the way. You know, some coaches choose to ignore rivalries, right? Some go way over the top. I'm kind of in the middle. Like, we have countdown clocks in our building to say, hey, this game's coming. It is important to us. Uh, but we don't have those, so we get to that week and we're like, oh, I'm not going to talk about it. These guys understand we got a mission. we got to go 1-0. and But the best part about rivalry games is they come with a prize. And if you can go out there and earn that victory through 60 minutes of hard-fought football, we get to bring that prize home with us. So our guys are ready. We're tested. They understand the mission, and they know exactly what we need to do to go get it. Any, any last words here is we're getting close to the end of the show about if there are folks and there's a lot of cougs over there yeah. in the Seattle area and wherever you may be in the state of Washington, in Oregon, there's time to hop in the car and get to the game. Anyone who maybe doesn't have their tickets yet on what your message is about what that support means to have as much crimson and gray yeah. possible in the building at Lumen Field on Saturday. I know, Chris, we need everybody there. You know, this that the margin for victory in college football is so small and the advantage that you can create. I mean, Texas Tech had five false starts because our crowd at Giza Field was incredible last week. It is. And get there. I mean, it's it's 1230 games. So, I mean, it is it's it's kegs and eggs, right? It is getting to Marco Polo, a Cougon bar. It is getting to Flat Stick Pub, a Cougon bar, going having a few Coors Lights, be rowdy, be there, get your you know nearest Cougs friends, sit next to a Husky and let us battle it out because uh, it's going to be a fun one. These are those ones as a head coach, you just love going into and just watching your guys perform because our guys are ready. And then when you go into that moment, you just let them play and perform, keep them calm, adjust to everything you're seeing. But Cougs, we need you. We need you. This has got to be our place. We've got to make Lo Lumen Field. We've got to paint the town crimson. It's our opportunity to show who we are. And, and we were talking a little bit before the show. You've never been to Lumen Field before, right? I've never been there. I, you know, I, the holy grail to me is Lambeau Field. Let's not, you know, I don't want to, you know, kind of in the pack, you know what, I don't want to offend there, any I Seahawks. I can say, the Packers do have some poor memories at Lumen Field. There was an NFC Championship game, I'm thinking of, a few years ago. I don't know if yeah, there was a fail Mary in there yeah, somewhere. There were those I'm not frequently sure where, too, yeah. where that was at. But uh, shout out to the Seahawks. They're off to a good start this year. They treat us very well over there. But, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where what a, what a cool venue. You know, our, our guys dream of playing in the NFL. Like, that's a lot of their goals and dreams and aspirations, and I want to help them get there. Uh, but it's one of those things where it just I, – I can't wait to be there. You know, hear about, like, the – 
Uh, when was it uh, where the guy ran the deal and it was like an earthquake happened? Cause yeah, it was the so, beast quake. The Marshawn beast quake. Lynch. Mar- Marshawn the... Lynch. How do I forget? But it's one of those things where, you know, the Legion of Doom and these guys have been in that field to go out there and play where the pros play. I think it's a cool experience for our guys, and, and they're going to be fired up when they come out of that locker room now. Excited for some great Cougar memories there on Saturday. Coach, we hear the fight song. That means we're up against it. Final words for everyone. Well, it's that time. I mean, we, we all have emotions about this football game, but nothing saves emotions like going out there and waiting a big win and getting the Apple Cup back. Let's go, Cougs. Kickoff, 1230, Lumen Field, the Apple Cup. Can't wait to talk to everyone then. Our coverage will start at 1030. We're signing off here. The Cougar Football Hour from Zeppos. A big thank you to Andrew Allison back in the studio, to Coach Jake Dickard, Cyrus Webster, our guests, for Jerry Kylo on the audio side, Jared Pringuber on the uh, video side. I'm Chris King signing off. Go Cougs! Go Cougs! Can't wait for Saturday. Apple Cup week. It is here. You've been listening to the Cougar Football Hour from Learfield. You've been listening to the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Tonight's show has been brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is a proud supporter of Cougar Athletics. Together, there is nothing as powerful as the power of us. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, the home for the Cougar Coaches Show, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network.